I got this uh, 57 mirror in the mail uh, for 50 bucks. You can see it's all cracked. The mirrors looks like it's in bad shape. So I'm just going to be using the stand off this. I don't need this mount because these are for a 57. The 58 goes right on the dashboard. And then I'll be using this good, uh, correct, perfect condition mirror. And that's good. Alright, so I'm looking at this uh, mount for this mirror. <clears throat> and it looks like that hole is just too small. So I'm going to have to drill out that hole and then pop that thing through and make that a little bit bigger to mount that. And I put, I uh, sandblasted this dash and got it all uh, nice and clean and then put rattle can primer on it. But I don't know, for an interior piece it might be okay. But I think I might re-sandblast it and uh, throw some 2K primer on that I've got coming in the mail. Alright, I had to pull out this uh, 58 service manual that I've downloaded to figure out how those torsion bars would actually work. Um, it wasn't until I really looked this over that I realized that I was banging on it wrong. That's why it wouldn't come apart. But uh, yeah, this thing is... Uh, good manual they don't make manuals like this anymore okay so I've got these uh, torsion bars and uh, lower control arms all uh, painted with core 15 stripped down all the rust gone and I'm um, going to start uh, pulling these things apart and get ready to put some bushings on there uh, I think you just uh, hit them with a hammer try and get this uh, piece out right here. Got a socket here. Let's see if this works. Alright, so I'm looking at this uh, exhaust manifold and uh, this thing is toast, so I'm going to have to go look for a new one. Alright, so uh, I went ahead and ordered up some uh, gallon of uh, epoxy primer so I can get these body panels stripped down, get them into some good primer. You know, I put some rattle can primer on uh, the body of that car, but uh, I'm going to have to strip all that off. I just wanted to keep it from rusting, but uh, it turned out that's not going to work. So, I'll get that going. I got my ball joints ordered, and I did find an exhaust manifold that will fit this big block 350 Mopar. I uh, paid 112 bucks for it. So it was the only one they had on eBay. So whenever I see a part, there's very few of I order it right away because you never know if you'll ever see it again. <laughs> so I went ahead and ordered another uh, quart of silver pour 15 so I can get that frame done. 
I need to get that in the dip and then uh, a gallon of 2k urethane primer which is more of the high build primer that you put over first you put on the body work like the bondo then you do uh, epoxy you can actually do the bondo over the epoxy either way and then after that you do um, urethane which is more sandable high build primer here's a look at all the parts I've ordered off eBay so far for this car, most of them are just sitting out there in storage, but uh, waiting to be installed. We got quarter panels, uh, air cleaners, uh, rear valances, sort of those body panels that go underneath the bumper, trunk panel, uh, a, a rear bumper. Eyebrow trim that goes over the headlights. Let's see. I've got ordered an exhaust manifold or an intake manifold. Uh, side the side trim, the aluminum side trim. Carburetors. Uh, I bought one for 400 and then paid, I think, another 500 to get it rebuilt. Something like that. And then I bought one that was already rebuilt. These are the original carbs, not aftermarket carbs. Mirrors, windshield rubber, uh, turn signal switch. Uh, I had to order a, a one wheel because one was destroyed. Let's see. What else did I get? Hood trim. Uh, a new alternator that looks like uh, an old generator, but it's actually an alternator. Uh, some uh, trim pieces. Let's see, glove box key. More uh, body panels to I still need to weld on. Gas tank holder. Front fins. So far, this is what I've spent on parts. Uh, actually, I've spent more than that because I've ordered a lot more since then. 